Using QDIM to dimension. QDIM is a command that automates dimensioning. It stands for quick dimensioning. If we go up into our annotate tab, over into our dimensions panel, here we have the button called QDIM. And QDIM has a little lightning bolt for quick. And so what we're going to do is pick on this and it says select the geometry to dimension. So I'm going to window across the whole thing, uh, crossing uh, across the whole thing. And you can see I have a bunch of dimensions. Well, we want to start off with, let's put in some continuous. So I'm going to click on continuous. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to place it. And you can see that it actually put in too many different uh, dimensions. You can see here I got a dimension to the edge of this fillet and the edge of this fillet, which are not standard practice. So we're going to do this again. We're going to go up to, to uh, our QDIM. We're going to pick a crossing and we're going to pick across all these dimensions. And now I'm going to pull out sideways. And this time let's do a baseline. I click on baseline and I'll pick. And you can see that down here that I got a baseline all coming off this bottom data but you can see that I have a lot of different ones some going to the beginning of the fillets and even down here kind of hard to see what those are all about but we have too many of them so what we have to do is we have to use the edit option in these so what I'm going to do is erase these and we'll go back and redo this all right so get rid of all those now let's get this set to go oh I just saw there's a little um, little line down there let's get rid of that all right now we'll go up into our annotate we're gonna go to quick dimensioning I'm going to select with a window crossing everything in there hit enter and now, right now I'm in the baseline. I'm going to switch that to uh, I'm first before I go to continuous, I'm going to go to edit. And when I go to edit, it now puts a little uh, point uh, marker over all the different points it's calculated from. If I click on them, I'll turn object step off. If I click on them, they go away. And I don't need the measure off the bottom here all the way across the dimension right so I can come in here and click it might be a little hard to see I got two X's there but one is the USC icon but now I don't need to measure to the beginning of the fillet or the beginning of the fillet here nor do I need the center point of the fillets all I want to measure to is those three points so now I'm going to hit enter to exit now I come up and you can see I'm in the baseline. I'm going to go back to continuous, click on continuous, place it up here, and there we go. Now we have for a, a good looking continuous or chain dimension. Let's do that again. Let's go up to quick and we're going to select all the geometry to pick here and I'm going to pick all the geometry right there and enter and now I'm going to come down and edit again and notice all the points show up in the drawing well I'm going to come over here on this right side and do a baseline I don't need any of these over here let me get rid of that I don't need any of these over here so I'm going to just take those out by picking on them picking anywhere near the X and you can see I got really two X's here and I do need the one in the center. I need this one. I don't want to measure to the start of the fillet or the fillet's centers. So there we go. Now that I'm done, I can enter for exit. And right now I'm in a chain command. I want to switch it over to baseline. So in the baseline, I'm going to pick. And there I have it. I have up on top, I have an example of chain dimension or continued dimension down on the right here I have baseline option and I show then the options to the baseline so this is Q dimensioning which stands for quick dimensioning and 
that is found right here in the dimension panel in the annotate tab.